Hi, this is Pete. Welcome back to our virtual town hall. It's been a while since we've done this, but I wanted to give you some perspective and tell you what I'm seeing. Right now, you should be getting some letters from uh, Brenda and, and your executive directors and, and other people in the organization, just letting you know the details and how we're handling everything that's going on right now in your communities. But I wanted you to hear from me and the perspective that I see and that our leadership team sees together. To begin with, we need to jump this hurdle with the Delta variant. It's a little pesky right now. We we're hoping we were through with this, but it looks like this surge is happening right now. From all indications, while we don't know the exact time frame it'll be with us, it looks like it moves through pretty quickly from data that's been seen in the UK and in Israel. So we've done this before. We know what to do. Uh, like an accordion, we've got to expand out. We're just gonna tr contract in a little bit right now. We know the protocols, it doesn't scare us, we can get through this. The vast, vast majority of us are vaccinated. Uh, we're continuing to draw, see our numbers of our employees go up in the vaccination rate, which is gonna help protect them. And we're seeing really great results from people that are vaccinated and impacts. But we have to be vigilant and we have to do a few things here to get over it. Hopefully in the next 60 days, 30, 60 days, we don't know exactly, uh, we'll be through this and we can get on. I think most of us are aware of the problems that are out there in the supply chain, whether it's from food to paint to automobiles. It's taken longer and costing more to get the things that we need for daily life. I'd like to ask for your patience. It may take a little bit longer to fill those maintenance requests. It also may require that we have to reduce our menu selections in the communities for a period of time. But don't worry, all of us are committed to the standards of quality that the Springs has become known for. While our options may decrease for a while, and it might take a little longer to deliver that quality, you have my commitment that we're there to serve you every way possible. One of the other hurdles that we're dealing with right now, and I think we're all very aware of this, is workforce. Frankly, on a national level, we've never had this many jobs available. Staffing any business right now is challenging. The good thing about the Springs Living is that we have a core group of leaders and team that are willing to step in and help get this through. Just this last week, my wife and I, Julie, were up in Whitefish, Montana, and we got the privilege of working the evening dinner service and serving our residents and helping the staff. You're gonna see more of our leadership team jumping in as needed, and we'll get through this together. We're fortunate that Springs Living has regionally focused resources to help fill the gaps. And with the compliments and the graciousness that you've been showing our employees, we can overcome this. I've been traveling around to different Springs communities and I appreciate all of the compliments that, that you've given me on our staff. And just know that I pass those along to, this, to the staff and the, and the management and leadership team at the company. But continue, please continue to give those to the, the employees themselves. And if you do run into trouble and if you do have some concerns, I'd just like to ask you that you address that with the executive directors and the managers. Um, and let's be positive, encouraging with the staff. Let us deal with the challenging, difficult things. By doing that, you will help us, you'll help the staff, and that'll ensure the very best outcome for you and your family also. The Springs Living has been doing this for 25 years. We've seen a lot of challenges. We've been through a lot of difficulties. We've seen a lot of people join our organization, leave our organization but we're committed, we've always been committed to the values, we've been committed to the end result, we're committed to you. We will get through this together. Let's hold the course, let's be positive, let's work together. Thank you for listening and be well.